And now it's time for us to get another look at our weather for how things are shaking out this weekend and the rest of the week. So, Jim, what should we expect? You know, there's so much going on. We have parades this weekend. French Quarter Festival is next week. And it looks like every day is going to change a little bit for us as far oh, as man. the weather goes. Yeah. Good weather, I hope. Good weather for this weekend. Next week, things are changing significantly. Uh. Right now, our main concern, and I don't want to say concern, maybe that's too strong of a term, but we're watching for a little bit of fog. Visibility reduced in a couple of locations. It doesn't look foggy on any of our cameras. However, in the next half hour, well, there you see Bell Chase. Okay, visibility down to six miles. That's not a big deal, but we may have a little more fog developing in the next half hour. I don't think it's gonna slow things down on the roadways. Now we're at 48 in Bogalusa. That's a little on the cool side. 54 in Hammond, but a warmer 67 at the lake and 65 right now in Kenner. 55 though, the current temperature in Bell Chase. Here are your current conditions with the sunrise in the background at Lewis Armstrong International Airport. 65 degrees the temperature with the winds from the east to northeast at 6. No visibility problems at the airport. This has been the change over the last 24 hours. The moisture is on the increase at the surface and especially at the upper levels of the atmosphere. You can see a lot more moisture here in Texas that's moving in our general direction. That means that we're going to have more cloud cover this weekend and eventually those clouds are going to bring us some rain. Unfortunately, those clouds are probably going to be here on Monday too for the eclipse. However, let's plan on a great weekend. We have a parade in Chalmette today, one tomorrow in Metairie, and the weather is going to be nice, even though, yes, we'll have a few clouds today, but the high temperature should make it close to 80 degrees. We'll still call it a mostly sunny day. Now, as we go through the evening tonight, the clouds starting to get a little bit thicker. So Sunday, we'll start partly cloudy and we'll stay partly cloudy. Tomorrow morning, a few degrees warmer and maybe just a little muggier than this morning. Could have a little bit of patchy fog first thing in the morning tomorrow, too. But then the clouds starting to increase a little bit more. Still partly cloudy Sunday. Still dry weather. Still looking good. But here we are Monday morning. Clouds getting thicker. And it looks like Monday is going to be a mainly cloudy day for us. Maybe some peaks of the eclipse, but not great eclipse viewing weather by any stretch of the imagination. But the temperatures still warm with highs close to 80. Maybe a few showers from the North Shore on Monday, but the real chance for rain is coming in the mid portion of the week, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Low pressure is going to exit the desert southwest, make its way into Texas, and here's your good chance for rain, Tuesday night into Wednesday, pausing things here around the noon hour Wednesday. Looks like the best chance for rain right now may come earlier in the day on Wednesday, but all day Wednesday, I think it's going to be cloudy and inclement. However, Behind that front, and remember, French Quarter Fest happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think we're looking good for that. May have a shower, a little sprinkle Thursday morning. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Mostly sunny, warmer, and very nice today with a high temperature close to 80 degrees. Tonight, partly cloudy. May have some patchy fog toward morning. Maybe a little bit muggy first thing in the morning. And a little bit humid tomorrow afternoon with a high temperature in the low 80s in many locations. A partly cloudy day. But no one is going to complain. Sure, the dew point is going to be in the 60s tomorrow, but it's not like it's going to be oppressively humid. Breezy on Monday with a 20% chance for showers, but then Tuesday night to Wednesday, 70% chance for rain. And some of the showers may actually be a little bit on the strong side. May have some pockets of some heavy rain Wednesday, but then looking good for the end of the week. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.